Why is space dark? It's an age-old question with a surprising answer. Arguably, going back to the 6th century, there were good reasons to think that something wasn't adding up. To the ancients, an unending, unchanging sky was a natural conclusion to draw from their observations. And additionally, it's pretty reasonable to think that if the sky is unending, then so are the stars. But if that's the case, why are there any directions you can look without seeing one? To formalize this paradox more concretely, suppose the universe was infinitely large, unchanging, and roughly homogeneous, meaning that no one place in that infinite expanse was substantially different from any other place. Well, that should mean that there should be an infinite number of stars roughly evenly spaced. And that means that any direction you look, the line of sight would necessarily end on a star. So the night sky should seem as bright as the sun, and yet somehow it doesn't, meaning something has to give. This paradox is now known as Olber's paradox. And before we get to the resolution, let me clarify one thing. The inverse square law doesn't save you here. Even though individual stars get further away and so their brightness drops off as the inverse of the distance squared, it's also true that the number of stars at a given distance increases with the square of the distance. So the total energy density at any one point being received from the stars is infinite. Clearly, we have a genuine paradox here. The answer, of course, is that one of the initial assumptions must be wrong. It seems to be the case that the universe is roughly homogeneous, so it can't be that one. Furthermore, we have good reason to think that it's at least possible that the universe is infinitely large. So all we're left with is the unchanging assumption. Fortunately, by the middle of the 20th century, we realize that the universe isn't unchanging. The universe as we know it began with a bang about 14 billion years ago, and so there just hasn't been enough time for all of that light to get to us. Furthermore, the universe expands, causing that light to decrease in intensity faster than the inverse square. Either one of these would have been enough, but with both of them, certainly the sky should be dark. So why is the sky so dark? Because of the brightest event in history.